What's up, Moyo tribe? We Moyo everywhere we go. Today is the first episode of Focus to Heal. Every Wednesday, I'm gonna give you a tip, something you can do, a little change you can make in the way you think or in the way you act to make a difference in your life. And for people who are plagued with chronic pain, chronic fatigue, chronic stress, chronic inflammation, these tips will make a huge difference if you're able to implement them in your life. I told you yesterday that I think it's crazy that we get so upset when we think somebody does something to hurt us or to wrong us. But I firmly believe that the vast majority of things that are done to hurt us are done by ourselves. We do them to ourselves. The vast majority of chronic diseases are caused by what we do or don't do. They're caused by poor diet. They're caused by lack of exercise. They're caused by inability, inability to deal with stress. All these things are significant factors, if not causes primarily in heart disease, diabetes, anxiety, all of these diseases, even arthritis that we are that we all deal with is worsened by the changes brought on by our lifestyle when our lifestyle is bad. So day one on Focus to Heal, I'm gonna talk about food and our diet. There's an old Ayurvedic proverb that says, when diet is bad, medicine is of no use. But when diet is correct, medicine is of no need. In other words, the primary thing that affects our well-being is our diet. What we put in our body affects everything about us. Our body, our health, diseases we suffer from, and yet we just don't seem to believe it. I went to medical school and nobody ever taught us that. Nobody ever taught us things about diet. I'm hoping they do now because all the research bears this out. And yet, as Americans, we just struggle with believing that our diet can affect us. And maybe even if we do believe it, we just don't care. So I'm gonna give you today one little tip. I'm gonna pick one little thing and each week we'll pick something else that may be a change you can make because sometimes if you try to change the whole thing right off the bat, it's just too much. So here's the tip for the day. Here's the focus to heal challenge for the day. Cut out the bad carbohydrates. Now understand when I say bad carbohydrates, not all carbohydrates are bad. Carbohydrates are necessary and they're good, but there are certain carbohydrates that have a deadly effect on us. Now what I'm talking about specifically today, I'm gonna to give you one specific category to look at. White flours and white rice. These are carbohydrates that have been stripped of their bran and of their fiber. And so instead of being whole grain, like whole grain bread, they turn it into white bread, white rice. And the problem is when you strip it of the bran and you strip it of the fiber, you strip it of the essence of what's good in it. See, it's the bran and the fiber that makes it stay in your gut longer, give you a chance to absorb it more slowly. But if you're eating white bread and white rice, it's a carbohydrate that when it comes into your gut, it's absorbed extremely quickly and you get huge spikes in blood sugar from this food. And when that blood sugar spikes like that, it triggers your pancreas to increase quickly 
the production of insulin. And when that happens, insulin production that's increased so quickly stimulates the production of stress hormones. And over a period of time, if this is continued, it results in a significant amount of inflammation and of stress on the system. And this type of diet, this type of increases in these bad carbohydrates are a significant player in heart disease, diabetes, chronic inflammation. If you're someone that suffers from joint pain and you eat a lot of white flour, white bread, white rice, it triggers an inflammatory response and it can worsen your pain over time. So maybe your arthritis wasn't caused by this part of your diet, but it's worsened by it. And that's a little thing you can do that's safe. Why would you want to take medications that affect your kidneys, that affect your stomach, when you can make simple changes? So today, my tip, make the change from bad carbohydrates and sugars. Decrease your intake of white bread, white rice, favor whole grain bread, brown rice, whole grain rice, and get rid of the simple sugars in your diet that are absorbed so quickly. Decrease your intake of syrups, artificial sweeteners. All of these things have an effect on so many disease systems in our body. But that's a way that you can take the step to focus to heal. That you can take the initiative to do the things to treat your pain, to treat your fatigue, to treat your heart disease in a healthy way, in a way where you can take advantage. This is your opportunity. Don't blow it. Don't let five years from now, you be sitting around thinking, man, I wish I'd have changed my diet because now I'm having so many problems. Do it now. Focus to heal. Make the most of every opportunity. Cut out the bad carbs. White bread, white flour, white rice, syrups, artificial sweeteners, sugars. Cut them. Moyo. Everywhere we go.